What does an ambulance and a pet food plant have in common? Well, they both need to be fastidiously clean. And in Rippon, the two have come together to cut down on the time it takes to make Rippon's ambulances sanitized after a run. As you can imagine, an ambulance has a lot of nooks and crannies and equipment and things like that. We were looking for a way to basically decontaminate that ambulance once we cleared the hospital. And when we, on the drive back, it would, it would be done by the time we got back. And they didn't have to look far. Just a block away is the Diamond Pet Foods plant that has a better way to clean and sanitize. We have a very robust sanitation program, but, and we fight against pathogens, but I was looking for something that would help us out with COVID-19 and a virus. And I come to learn about electrostatic sprayers and the Clorox product. The more time-consuming treatment was this ozone sterilizer that would be used if a patient exhibited COVID symptoms. The problem we had with that was time. It, it takes uh, a lot of time. It's, it's about a 45-minute process. And then there's a, a, a period of time we have to still exclude everybody out of that atmosphere. Chief Bitters was telling me that they uh, had quite a bit of downtime with their ambulances and in between transferring patients. And so I was telling them about this product, and um, they found a use for it as well. So to save time and get the ambulances back on the road in a fraction of the time, Chief Bitters bought the Clorox product and a handheld fogger. So now the turnaround time is about 20 minutes, and the decontamination can be done while returning from hospitals throughout San Joaquin or Stanislaus counties. And they spray this inside the back of the, the, the box when they leave, and then as they're driving back, the two guys are in the front, the medic and the MP are in the front, and they just let it do its magic while they're driving back. A perfect example of a private business spreading their safety practices to the community for the good of all of us. In Ripon, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.